Hello everybody. Today we're going to do a full tutorial on the newest version of Limit Swap V2.88. We're going to go over the full GUI. This is getting so much simpler to use and um, we've been working super hard on this so I'm excited to kind of make this new setup video and overview, show you what we're working with and also announce the new bot, the new one inch trading bot that we have uh, integrated into the GUI. So. The cool thing now with Limit Swap is all you got to do is download it, extract the zip, open the folder, and hit start. You just hit start Limit Swap and then your GUI pops up. So once that happens, everything, literally everything, is now happening from the GUI. So you don't need to worry about any of the command line, any of that stuff. It's all done through here. Everything has a really nice intuitive GUI. And we have all three bots up here. So you, you can see we have the Limit Swap bot, which is the traditional uh, limit order bot for um, Uniswap. This is the first product that we launched under the limit token and it basically allows you to do scale limit and take profit orders, uh, use on new token listings, uh, I don't know, people use it for all sorts of things. Uh, long term trading, so if you're looking to get a coin, you know, at X price and sell at Y price. You just put them there and it controls it for you. If you already have bags and you and you just want it, the bot to sell them, if it pumps up, you can hold all your coins, put them in here, and then if the price pumps, it will automatically sell it if it hits your threshold, all, all that kind of stuff. There's so many variables, uh, it's hard to cover them all. We also have ping pong bot, and they're gonna look similar when you go through, but this is a fully automated bot on Uniswap. All you do is pick your coin, your offsets, so your percent offsets that you want it to buy and sell at. And if price spikes either one, one way or the other, it'll look for it. I'll show you guys an example of here of a coin that has some nice movement um, that I personally use this on. So Badger is a great example. You can see it has candles that move 10% regularly in each direction. So a VWAP is the volume weight of average price and it follows this over time. Um, and we use Chartex, uh, their proprietary API to get this. And you can pick different uh, values here. So if you go in and edit this token, you're gonna see some different time frames for VWAP that you can pick. And that follows the price over time. And if price moves outside of your percentage threshold, it will either buy or sell that token if you have it. So that's fully automated. So you can run this on as many pairs as you want. This is You just need to hold 50 limit tokens. This is like our proprietary bot. No one else has this. And it kind of just lets you have this huge list of um, coins that you want to trade that are volatile. And you set your perimeters and just unleash it. And it automatically trades for you based off of your settings. So pretty cool uh, option to have there. And the latest one is one inch, and this is something that we've been working on. So we launched the two basic bots first, and now we have the one inch aggregator bot, which basically this allows you to unlock any trading across any DAX. It routes it for you, and um, similar, it has similar properties to the, the Uniswap bot, but we gave it even more features. So this is a completely pro feature pro trader feature you need to hold 50 limit tokens to use it but there's way more features so if you see here you can select um, which base token you want to sell to or you can put in custom ERC 20 so you can go from any token to any token here and it's gonna watch the price and chart it out over here in the monitoring section as you go there's endless possibilities with this so if you want to trade USD to wrap Bitcoin you can do that. If you want to trade uh, any coin to USDT or USDC, you can do that. All you have to do is put in the address of the token and then choose your base pair and it will do that automatically for you. We have so many features. Everything's in here laid out exactly how you can use it. Um, the new features with one inch too is everything is integrated in the pair selected only. So you can specify your max gas per pair, your gas boost percent per pair, your gas limit per pair, your slippage per pair. You can use chai if you're a chai user with one inch and you want to save on gas fees, you can buy chai and save by using the chai integration. So, so many things and we kept a lot of the old good features like moon bag, the amount of token. We added new things like 
uh, what price you want to sell it and how much you want to sell at a certain level. Um, so we just added a bunch of a bunch of new fe features. There's calculators in here that kind of give you an estimation on stuff like that, but all the new features. So after going over that, how do you get this set up? Um, basically, all you need to do is once you're in here is you're going to go to settings and pick whichever bot you want to use. So um, we'll say we'll say limit swap for example. It's going to bring you the first thing you need to do is uh, update the settings. So um, your base pair is ETH. On limit swap, this doesn't change, so that that's not um, something that you can change there. Um, to use many, you need to have 25 tokens. To use one token, you need to have 10. So this is the cheapest way to test it if you're looking to dabble and see how it works. Uh, it, auto restart will work if you're uh, trying to manage your processes. If you're not looking at it all the time, it'll just restart the bot for you and manage it. And this is the most important part is the wallet address and the private key. So I'm gonna show you guys an example how to get this. The best practice is to make a new wallet here and then you usually go to account details, export private key. You're gonna type in your password. And then it's gonna show you your key. You're gonna copy that. Um, and then we're gonna go back here and you're gonna paste your private key in here. And then, let's see, we also need to get our wallet address. Let's see if we can get that as well. Um, copy the wallet address. Let's go back to full screen and put your wallet address here. And then we're gonna go down to the controller and with limit swap, everything's, uh, the gas uh, stuff is all custom. Um, but it, it's universal for every pair. So the, this is the difference between the limit swap and one inch. One inch, uh, it's pair specific, and with limit swap, it's universal. So then you can set uh, your gas boost. So I wanted to add an extra 20% to gas, and I never want to trade if gas is more than 200. Gas limit is 2,500, that's cool. We don't need to fix it. And let's say slippage, we don't want to use more than 7%. Retry and fail, well, uh, if your transactions are failing, you can set a limit on how many times you want the bot to try um, to retry that transaction. And if it goes doesn't work after that many times, it will stop, so it doesn't endlessly burn your gas. And then if you want to use notifications, you can set this up. We're not going to. All right, so once that's updated, we'll go back to limit swap. We'll see our wallet address come in here. Boom. We, this is a new wallet address, so yeah, obviously we have zero ETH. And um, you're gonna see some new stuff. We'll do see Zerion. Um, we have a wallet integration that will show your balance here. And uh, yeah, then the next thing you go, this is pretty universal, just so you guys know, for every bot. Um, the whole setup, uh, the whole setup process is the same, just some of the settings are different. Um, yeah, so you can see we have some tokens up here. So the next thing we have to do is uh, add a token. Um, so we're going to add a limit, but I'm going to show you what you want to do is you want to find your token and go to Etherscan and verify as the token you're looking for and uh, copy the address, okay? So once you have that address, you come back to here, put it in, and then put your symbol in. You have limit, and we can say we want to buy a limit swap if the price is $5. The amount of tokens, we want to buy 100 uh, the maximum amount of tokens you want to buy at this level is, uh, we'll say, uh, 100. Um, stop loss percent, uh, if you're using stop loss, you can set this, right? We'll put it at 10. We're not using it, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, your price USD that you wish to sell at, so you can see this is the buy section, this is a sell. Uh, we don't want to sell unless the limit's $100, and we want to always hold 50 limit because uh, if you're using, remember if you're using a limit, to, if you're botting on limit, you always want to make sure you don't sell your tokens because you need them to run the bot. And then liquidity check, if you want to check uh, for liquidity, um, you can set this here. This is good for uh, listing, sniping, and stuff like that because uh, it makes sure that the coin has enough liquidity uh, in there to trade and provide slippage and stuff like that. Um, enabled, this is what you want to use um, to enable the pair. If you want to pre-approve it before you trade it, you use this. 
has fees. If it's a token that has fees like core or anything like that, you can see here, um, you'd want to use that. And then you also want to do a unique order ID and add token. After that, you're going to see it gets added up here to the top. I'm going to delete these old ones because... Yeah, so now we have a token in here and then we can just hit start bot. So once that gets going, you'll start to see things uh, printed in here. And of course, right now, since this is a new wallet, it's going to say we're not, uh, we don't have enough to run it. But uh, this will continue to go and print and monitor your tokens and all that good stuff while you are using it. And, and that's basically all there is to set this up. After that, uh,